Hello and welcome to H2K Infosys. We provide world-class services in IT training, special IT training, software design and IT augmentation. What is a test case? In this video, I will demonstrate what is a test case and how to write it in software QA testing. Test case is step-by-step -step instructions to test a specific business and functional requirement. Let's start with a simple example. Say you want to drive from Atlanta to Chicago. You're not just going to sit in your car and start driving. You will log on to websites like Google Maps or MapQuest and put in your requirements and pull up the directions. From point A to point B, you can have as many as 50 detailed step-by-step -step directions on how to reach your destination. Directions in simple language that anyone can understand. Test case is like driving directions. Step-by-step -step instructions to test a specific requirement. Let's try a little more complicated example. Say you want to make a reservation for a vacation you're planning. You will log on to the Delta Vacations homepage Put in your required dates and destinations and make your reservation. You will get a confirmation number. Now you want to retrieve the reservation. You will log on again and go to My Reservations on top here and click on it. And this is the page that comes up. The Search By window. There are three boxes. The Search By box has a drop-down menu with three items, booking number, email address and frequent flyer number two boxes to put in your values and the search button. These are the functional requirements to be tested on Delta Vacations My Reservation page. Search by functionality should provide a drop-down box, two input boxes to enter the appropriate values and one search button. The drop-down box should have the following list of items as we just saw, the booking number, email address and the frequent flyer number. Before we start to test these functional requirements, we need to write the test cases. You can write, this is the Excel spreadsheet and these are the headers. Test case ID, description, preconditions, steps to be taken, test data, expected results and the actual results. The first one is the The test case ID, my reservation 001. The ID should be very clear and specific and simple so that anyone can understand it. The description, validating search functionality window. Precondition, my reservation link should be up. Before we start testing, what is the page that should be up? That's the precondition. Steps to be taken, click my reservation on Delta vacation homepage. No data is entered, so we leave this blank, and this is the expected result. My reservation page should open and drop down box, two input boxes, and one search button should be displayed. We click on the drop down box, no data again, and the drop down box should have the following list of items. That was the first step. The second requirement that we have is to validate the search functionality with invalid data. So this is the second requirement. The test case ID should be specifically saying number two. This is the description. The precondition is the same as before, so we can just copy it and paste it. Steps to be taken. Select booking number from search by drop-down box. Enter invalid booking number and enter last name and click on the search button. This is the time where we enter the data. So we in enter some invalid number invalid name and click on the search button and this is the expected result that we get an error message we click on the back button and my reservation page should be displayed where do we write test cases we can write test cases on any number of tools like excel word quality center alm etc a test case can contain one or more steps based on the requirements, 
and one requirement can have one or more test cases based on how complex and big the requirement is. In an interview point of view, please explain with a simple example before you give the detailed explanation of a test case. In this case, driving directions was the simple example and Delta Vacations, my reservation, was a more detailed explanation. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please subscribe to H2K Infosys YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos.